I don't know about you guys, but if you've been thinking about building in 2021 and you've seen the cost of lumber, I mean, it's just astronomically stupid how expensive building a house has gotten. Is there an end in sight? Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm Jason with Greater Nixa Homes. And on this channel, we talk about all things real estate from Nixa down to Branson. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Before we could talk about if there's an end in sight to the lumber prices, let's go and kind of go back and see kind of how this all started. So back, you know, last year, around March, whenever this whole thing really began, um, you know, lumber yards halted supply. So you've got this major shortage of wood, and then you've got a lot of bored homeowners quarantined in their houses doing a lot of DIY projects, right? You know, interest rates kept getting lower and lower. Government help keeps coming in and keeping people in the market to buy homes, which if you uh, are aware right now, millennials are the ones that are uh, buying up all the houses. We're actually exceeding uh, baby boomers now. These are the number one uh, demographic of people that are buying houses uh, the, in the last five years. Um, but they're just now getting to that age where they've got kids and they needed to move up in house. Uh, they've got solidified jobs, uh, their savings are building. And so now they're in a prime position to be buying houses at unprecedented interest rates. Um, and so you've got this huge increase in demand on new construction and we have very little supply. And really a lot of it goes back even further to uh, back 2017 with the uh, tariffs uh, that uh, Donald Trump had put in place for the Canada uh, and their lumber yards up there, trading lumber across the border over there, which they're in talks to try to relieve some of that presently here in 2021. We'll see, uh, hopefully that will help alleviate some of the uh, pressures that we're seeing right now. But really it goes back a, a full year and I wanna show you guys kind of a chart and then look <laughs> at what $50,000 worth of lumber would get you back in 2020 versus today. All right, so in this um, chart here, you can kind of see a really good demonstration of exactly what has happened with the cost of lumber. Um, basically, here in 2020, it costs about $343, and that's where lumber usually kind of sits, between two and $400 per uh, board foot, you know, uh, per thousand board foot, I should say. So it shot up over 300% uh, in the last year. Uh, we're now at well over $1,300 per thousand uh, board feet uh, of, of lumber, and that translates into, you know, usually $50,000 of lumber would be able to build you about 10 houses complete and, and one that's just kind of starting. Whereas in 2021, $50,000 of lumber will help you buy two and maybe help frame, get started framing on one other. And that's just crazy to see how, how things have jumped. And I, I feel it in my business right now. I've got several clients who you know want uh, to finish projects and they're just been sitting on hold. I, I go to birthday parties and all kinds of events where I'm, I'm networking with people and talking with them. And it's all the same story of, well, we had you know started this project we were building and then we had to just kind of put things on hold uh, until the price of lumber goes down. And so, I mean, really that's what it all boils down to is when, when are we going to see the price of lumber alleviate so where people can feel good about actually purchasing lumber again and getting started finishing some of these projects. Um, I don't know. Uh, a lot of economists have said that there's really not going to be an end in sight in the near future. We're talking maybe 18 months to two years. The end of 2022 is where most economists have predicted that the price of lumber will finally start to calm down and get back to normal again. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of put it out there. If that's something that you really have been kicking around, it still may be worth it to do an existing home for now if uh, you can put off building for potentially three to five years and be able to build at a much lower uh, cost, then that's would be my suggestion. So I'll put a link for uh, this down in my description. The video, I've also um, got a blog that I'll be coming out with here very shortly, and I'll put a link to that as soon as it comes out too. Uh, to, kind of talk about this in more detail, uh, really. But 
uh, hang in there because I feel like, um, hopefully, like I said, if um, we are able to get some tariffs relieved from Canada, that will give us a little bit of immediate relief, but it won't be near where it has been, you know, in the last, you know, 10 years, I guess. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that was helpful. For more videos on the process of buying a house, you can check out some of my videos that I've got a whole playlist for you. I'll put it right up here in the corner and make sure to hit that subscribe button right down here. Uh, we enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. Till then, I'm Jason with Greater Nixa Homes and I'll see you in the next video.